Let's talk about how to set up the gear ratio table to allow the ECU to uh, calculate what gear you're in. We're starting with a data log. Uh, we just now did a, a real quick dyno test where we started the car in uh, in first gear from a standstill. So we had an engine RPM of about a thousand and then uh, vehicle speed about zero. And then we just went through the gears. We went first gear for a little bit, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, and sixth gear. And then we clutched in, put it in neutral, and let it coast back down to a stop. -in. So we have some data here. Uh, the ECU calculates this value here, gear ratio. And what that is, that's just the uh, engine speed divided by the vehicle speed. So at uh, in lower gears, that's going to be high numbers. And in higher gears, that's going to be lower numbers. There may be a slight range for each gear, but it's going to be pretty consistent for each gear, um, regardless of speed or, or, uh, or engine RPM. We can define a, a gear zero when the car is at standstill and not really in gear or driving, and that's going to be a, a high value. Uh, that'll max out at, at uh, this 10,000 here. So we're going to say that between the input value, gear ratio is the input to this table, um, anything that's 2,000 and as low as 21 is going to be calculated as gear zero. Now 21 is not nearly high enough because uh, we want first gear to start at something around 150, 160 maybe. So we're going to say that between our max value of we observed 10,000, so let's set this to 11, uh, we're going to have to double click that and then type in 11,000 and set that value. That's the highest value we'll see and we'll call it gear zero. Anything that's 200 and above, we're going to call that gear zero where the car's uh, not moving at a standstill. And let's say that anything below 200, so 199 and lower, that's going to be calculate out to first gear. Down here we can just start start picking values. We see that we've got uh, 144 and then when we shift gears it's going to drop so down to a value of about 90. So let's say somewhere in between there, let's just pick uh, this value right here, 110. So anything between 110 and 199, we're going to call that first gear in the future. Anything below 110, let's call it, you know, 109. 109 and below, we'll call that second gear. Uh, so here's here's in the, the meat of second gear, that's about 92, 90-something. Uh, 90 and then it'll go down to... 66 or so in third gear. So let's say that uh, 75, we'll call that uh, the limit for second gear, 75. Uh, third gear, we're going to say anything below 74. And above, the next gear here is a uh, 51 ratio, so something around 60 for third gear. So gear 4, we're going to call that anything that's less than 60, so we'll start at 59. And our gear 4 ratio here is 49.7. The next one is 39, so maybe we'll call that uh, something like 45. Fifth gear is calculating out as uh, 38, so we'll go anything that's below 44. Make sure we hit 38. The next gear is uh, 30, so maybe we'll call that uh, 44 to 35, maybe. Sixth gear here is showing uh, 30.4. So we'll just say 34, and and anything lower than that, we'll just keep calling that sixth gear. We could maybe say 25. Anything below that, we'll call that gear seven. This car doesn't have a seventh gear, but we'll we'll calculate that it's not in sixth gear. Maybe for boost control, we may not we may not want to use the same values uh, when we're clutching in versus when we're actually in gear. So now that we've done this, uh, let's we're gonna save this session, give it a name, gear one through six. Table update. Oh, it's saving our log data, so that might take a little time. Uh, I'm going to commit these modifications to the ECU. We're actually live connected to the ECU right now. We just turned the engine off and keyed on real quickly. Disconnect from the ECU. Connect to it again. Uh, let's go and import the data from our from our session we just saved. And so that shows us here um, these values that we just punched in, 1100, 200, and 199. Uh, and now let's start the engine and log this to make sure that it, that it uh, measures gears properly. So, 
so here we're in gear zero. We don't we don't have the car in gear and, and running right now. Now we're in first gear. The clutch is all the way out, and it's measuring gear one. Uh, let's get the RPMs up a little bit. Gear two. Gear three. Gear four. Gear five. And gear six. And it looks like that's doing a pretty good job. So those values we chose are, uh, are doing a decent job of calculating gears.